My young boy. Aïe. So tell me, what's your views and on why mopeds are being stolen? Why is there so much media, so much attention being brought into moped crime? Obviously, because um, why can't we get taken this cause? Um, let, me, let me put it this way, if you leave it with no lock, it's going to get taken. If you leave it with a lock, it's going to get hand grinded off. Um, simple, it's like that. Um, it takes two seconds. If it's got no lock in it, you just break the steel lock. Fucking, you can hot wire it or you can do an aggy thing. You just stop at the track of light. Fucking, get man off the bike. Simple, fam. What, as simple as that? As simple as that, fam. And what happens if man, si if, if man tries to fight back? We got protection on us. Uh, we come, obviously, all in row, three peds up, you get me? All in row, three peds up. Things like that, fam. Because you guys look like you're rolling deep. Come on, my God. I'm not even on this bike, Tim. I'm on a traffic thing right now. I was on tag, innit? Obviously, man, man done a little bird six months. That's mine, innit? Be smart on the road. And then what about when police tries to stop you? Or I'm sure you lot get police chases. Um, what the fuck are they going to do, fam? fam we're, we're blowing, fam. Side roads, hitting side roads. No, no, no one's going to catch one on, us. If, if, if we get away before the helicopter comes out, there's no way they're catching us, fam. Are you mad? So you, so you can get... If you're on a 3 double O, fam, no way they're catching us. What's a 3 double O? 300, 300 Vespa could be anything. Let's say 300 could be a Beverly. could be anything, fam. When they're fast bikes. Yeah, fast them. And what? So you've got enough. You've got a little bit of time to get away before the helicopter comes out. It's yeah, a mad. It's a madness. The helicopter, if the helicopter comes out, it's a sticky thing. Like, um, you have to hit bare. If you have to be a driver to get away from, if there's a helicopter there following you, fam. Yeah, well. Have you ever been? Have any of you ever been chased? Yeah. Forest number one. Yeah. Forest. Hit the forest. Boom. You have to leave the bike. No option. If, if it's there when you come back, it's there. You get. You're not fucking. Not just take that over. And if there's fingerprints on the fucking the handlebars or whatever, fucking you best just burn the bike, fam. Because they're gonna get your DNA, they're gonna get shit on. That's why you wear gloves or something, fam. And how much money can you make per ped getting a ped? How much money is there to well, be made? Gas it up, like, Yeah. Well, these, these, are, these are one two fives you get. What, these are one two fives? Yeah. Obviously this thing here, sell it for three doors, the nice bike. And how did you get that bike? These are all hot wired stores. What is it? Can you like for those who don't know, what, 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 how do you hot wire a bike? What, what does that mean? Hot wire. Obviously. Touch two wires together, literally, literally. And the bike starts as simple as that. The lights turn on, the bike starts. Have you ever gone to steal someone's bike and the person's come out? Yeah. yeah. Bro, I just came out of chase today. Just now? Yeah. Obviously, man and tried to jump out on the back and that. Obviously, it was a 300. Obviously, the guy comes out running in the van and that, trying to run us over and that. You get it. Obviously, pavements, boom, traffic, gone. And you guys got away as easy as that? Come on. So, some would look at and say what you're doing is wrong and some people would say that they feel that, that, that it's unfair what's happening. What, what's your views on that? Obviously. I know 
it's obviously it's a wrong thing to do but take it from a bank but we're gonna do it anyway it's money in, in our pocket like every um, man go think for themselves literally yeah, fam. Got if, you, if you want to be on a traffic thing if you want to be on a fucking a bike thing that can be anything to make money but you just have to be smart and it's a cold roll fuck it though you get it feds yeah. don't like us i don't like feds so but they will suck them up fam. So would you say it's, it boils down to simply, it's not about taking back, it's not about hurting people's feelings, it's about trying to make money out here? 100%. And would you say that if there was more opportunities that maybe you wouldn't be doing that? Obviously, I got kicked out when I was a young youth. I say, like, no one wants to help me, fam. I, I, I want to come out of the road soon, fam. I want to go fucking get a job or something like that, fam. I'm not trying to stay on the road forever, fam. It's dumb. Like, obviously, if you're making money, trapping or making money on bikes, be smart about it. Get your money, get your money, go live, get big, like save your money, don't be spending on fucking shit coats that's cost that like nine bills. Fam. Fuck it fam. How did you guys end up on the roads? How did you end up in that position in the first place? Who showed you about this road thing, you get me? Obviously, back in the day, literally, I'll talk about Ped now, innit? Back in the day, something minor happened, minor step back, obviously, I went to buy a ped, obviously I got sucked in it. Bullshit fam. Obviously the same day I sucked my own thing to prove myself that I can do better, you get me? Obviously from that day on it's just been madness, you get? The roads. Anyone can jump on the roads fam. It's too much pressure, too much all of this, yeah. Madness, you can even be about family, It's deceiving fam. The roads are deceiving, I'm showing you. Outside, the outside world see the roads as oh, quick money, cool, drugs, all of that. You get, it's, when you're actually involved, it's different, bro. It's not a fun game. It's bullshit, fam. It's not a good thing, fam. And that's a positive. That's a positive message for young people yeah. watching, because a lot of people would think, yeah, I want to be on this road. I want to make so, dough. I want to get this, and they don't understand the consequences. Well, yeah, this don't even work for everyone. You gotta have the mentality to it. You have to be strong. Fam, you can't be thinking. Fam, if someone's trying to rob you, fam, there's no way. Say, say if someone calls me and says, yo, I want, say, an ounce or something like that. You try to rob me, there's no way if you've got a shank to man, I'm going to give you my fucking food. Are you mad? There's no way. I'm going to fight you. You're going to have to stab man up to get the food, fam. My mum's like, fam, on the road, there's, like, there's three ways you can go. You either make it out, which yeah, is only a dead. small percentage, you fucking end up in jail. Or dead. Or dead. fucking dead. You get that rule, fam. That's real talking, that's the reality for bear man out here. Bear man, it's not like one man, ten man, a hundred man, it's millions of man that are in that yeah, same this predicament. Is London, fam. London's a cursed city, bruv. Fam, oh, you grow into this shit, fam. But you get used to it, you love it. You, you fall in love with the game. It's mad. No, I can relate to that, bro. What, what needs to be done to change this, bro? Change it? There's no way, fam. If you leave your bike in the house, just put your bike in the house, leave it there. If it's outside, it's gonna to get to took, fam. Like, there's no way. There's no way that like everyone. There's so many bike gangs out there, sucking heads. Like, fam, it's a thing. Like, it's, it's it's impossible. If you have to, you have to keep your bike in the yard. Like, otherwise, it's gonna get sucked. That's the only way. That's the only place it's safe. Really? Even then, fam. <laughs> if I know there's a bike in there, no one's in the yard. I'll just fucking boot the thing and wheel out of the house, fam. <laughs> if there's a bike, whatever. Why not, bro? <laughs> If it's like an R125, I'm going in the house or if it's in a garden, I'm a, I'm a wheel it out of the garden. Simple. So do you think there's anything the police could do to stop this? No. No. <laughs> Never. Unless they write us off or some dumb shit like that, fam. Like, I don't know, fam. But obviously, they are trying to, you get it, they're trying to fight all this crime. Obviously, recently, they started getting all these scrambler bikes and that on the roads. It's mad. Obviously, man hasn't bucked any of the feds yet, but soon come you get it. I know it's gonna happen soon so man's waiting. <laughs> do, do you feel that's gonna be an effective way of them trying to stop moped crime by having yeah, scramblers on, on the street? It's, it's, yeah 100%, 100%. Do you think it's deterring people from stealing bikes? Nah, I don't, I don't think it's gonna put people off. No? no. It's just another tactic that's gonna flood away in a couple years, you get me? So it'll be in there for a little while but after a while people won't even care and carry on doing what they're doing anyway so there'll be no point of doing it. And who would you say some of your role models are? Like, who are the people that you grew up? Obviously, he don't want me doing all this shit. And I have so much love for my family. But obviously, I'm just trying to make pee on the road. It's like, I've been doing this 
I'm not gonna gas it up. I'm, I'm, I've been doing it since I was like 14, 15. I'm fucking. No, I just went through tough shit with my family, arguments, obviously. That obviously that brought man to the road, obviously. But yeah, fam. Real talk, bro. I feel you still. I think a lot of people, it's like that for man. Man come from hard places where there's bare hardship and then end up being sucked into the world, not as a way of something to do, but as a way of living, surviving out here. Because there's like, you feel like there's no other way out there, bro. The fittest, fam. Come on. And how much money would you say you man are making a week? Fam, it could literally be anything, bro. You see, the thing with me, it's either a drop, a lick, anything, you get me? This bike thing is just on the side, you get me? Sometimes, obviously, the main reason I get bikes is to use them to do other shit, you get me? Because if my bro calls me up, I've got a drop on this yard, boom, we go around there, you get me? You can hit, bro, it can vary from anything, from a fucking 10 pound to 20 bags, you get? Yeah. And would you say bikes are effective because you can use them for multiple purposes? Yeah, that's the only reason you use them, yeah. If you don't go to school, that's gonna make you go to the roads, you get? So I have a school, on the roads, fam, pick, fam. And pick wisely, bro. You get? It. And there ain't no turning back from that decision. You get? It. No turning back, fam. Too late. You see? Mad, fam. Is it really like that? Would you say it's really like that once you're in, that's it? There's no turning back on this thing? And there's no, so many ways you can get. There's a way to change your life about around, fam. You can go get into a fucking college thing, anything, fam. You, uh, if, you're, if you're getting help from fucking people, or you apply for it, you have to. But you have to. Like, you can't expect people to do it for yourself, like, you have to do it for yourself, innit? Like, there's ways to come out. You, you see this quick money thing, man? You fall in love with it, innit? But over time, you realise it's bullshit, bro. This quick money, it comes quick, but it goes quick too, you get me? You can't invest that money, fam. You, you can't do nothing, bro. That money's gonna go soon, you get? Dead end money, like, you can't go and get, can't use nothing exactly, positive fam. with it. What, the feds bust in your yard, they find a couple racks. You think that's coming back to your pocket, fam? Take that. So all that work that you did to get it, it's gone. You get it, fam. But it's a trap that was addictive because I'm sure like the money that you make on roads, you won't be able to make in a nine to five job. You get me, hundred percent. That's why you fall in love mm. with it, fam. Is that why do you think that's one of the big factors that why people 100%. fall in love with the roads? Is it really easy money out there? Come on, fam. Life all lights. Just stick to school, innit? Cause whilst you get on this road thing, it's gonna be hard to get out, innit? You're just gonna fall in love with a quick money and that. And then it's gonna get harder and harder and harder, you get me? You find yourself in a cycle and man. Yeah, trust me, it's a vicious cycle as well. Talk to me about the cycle. Fam, the cycle, it's like, boom. You see the daily cycle and boom, get up, make your money. At the end of the day, feds are gonna be up your ass 24 7, you get me? Feds, feds are my number one ops, fam. Fuck the ops, I lie, but feds, fuck them even more, fam, you get? Up your ass 24 7, bruv. They don't want to see you succeed, obviously, so you're, you're succeeding in the wrong way, you get. Fuck it. But, bud, I'm not gonna lie, my G, you sound so wise, bro. All of you sound wise, like you know what's going on out here. You get me? Like, you sound like proper clued up, like you know what's going on out here, and you can see that like, it's a system and that it's almost like a trap and that. And it I guess it's. Trap, 100%. And you really feel like there's nothing that can be done to break it? Obviously, there's many things people are doing. You get me? All these youth clubs, all like that. Yeah, but like, they, don't have no, they don't have many youth clubs nowadays. Um. You get it? It's shut down. Dead. And do you feel like youth clubs have any... Would that help if there was more youth clubs? Yeah, 100%. I remember back in the day, I used to go to youth club back. Friday after school, you get it, Kick it off, play some football, all like that. But obviously, yeah, got shut down. Fuck that, man. Go on. And would you say it being shut down had a negative impact? Slightly, I want to say the biggest impact, but definitely the impact, you get it. I know a lot of people that used to go to that youth club that switched to the roads as well, you get me? I look at them now and I look at them back in the day, it's a big difference, you get it. And that's because the youth club's there, not there no more? Slightly, partly, innit? i say it's a little impact. What, who's your role models? Who do you look up to? Oh, really? I look at a better version of myself in the future. That's what I look up to, bro. Yeah. That's how you progress in that, So would you just say you're just trying to make yourself, just trying to better yourself out here? Yeah, bro. Just low-key, get my money, ghost. 
So for those watching, say for those on the other side that are trying to tackle this and trying to stop this, is, is there anything they can do to stop moped crime in London? It's just too easy, bro. Like, you just get drawn in, fam. It's too there easy. is ways, some. Obviously, police, they can observe you. Like, they'll follow you, follow you for a while. They'll see what bike you wear. DNA if you're not wearing gloves one day. And fucking, they, they fucking, say, say if you, put, say if you park your bike up on the block. Same Feds, same. they can obviously fucking take your bike away and you know, they'll do, obviously, DNA checks. If there's spit, fingerprints, anything. And obviously, they can catch you from there. But obviously they can't really do anything about it, even if your fingerprints are on there obviously because like anyone can touch a bike like it doesn't mean that like, obviously it don't mean like you stole like, it yeah you stole it that's what i'm trying to say so they can't really do nothing about it to be honest and do you think it will continue to happen of course thanks guys What are you doing with the wires? I'm doing them for the back, it turns off. You see? And you just turn it off by the wires?